How's it going everyone? John here. Welcome to another Stream Elements tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can add in a slideshow or asset rotator. As you can see here on the screen, I got two photos kind of rotating in and out. They're sliding in with a bounce, they're leaving with a bounce, and there's a little bit of a delay between each one of them as they come through. That way they're not clashing with each other. And it's really easy to set up, so let's go ahead and jump on over to the actual Stream Elements editor, and I'll show you how to do it. All right, so inside the editor, we're gonna go down to the plus. We're gonna click on static and custom, and we're gonna go to asset rotator and slideshow. So here it's gonna give us a blank box because we gotta fill it in. So we're gonna click on add asset, and we're going to click on upload, and we're gonna upload as many photos that we want to. Make sure they're PNG or JPEG. Once you have those uploaded, then you're gonna select whichever ones you want in whichever order you want them to be in. So I'm gonna select this one, just like you saw before. And then I'm going to go back in and we're gonna select some more. So I'm gonna select this one like you saw before as well. So we're just gonna work with those two. And for these, you can't move them around like that. So they have to stay where they are. So make sure you know the position for which you want them to be. Otherwise, you're gonna to have to delete one and then go back in, re-add it however order you want it to be. So as you can see, they're pretty much clashing on each other, but we're gonna change that. So underneath, after you get all the photos you want, you're gonna have different settings you can mess with. So for delay, this is gonna be the time between each images and it's gonna be within seconds. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set that to two, and then you're gonna have a pause session as well. This is going to be the time before history repeats itself basically in seconds. So this is like once all the images go through, how long do you want it to wait until it starts all over again? So for that, I'm going to set that for two. And then you're going to have this to show your image for how many times uh, or for how many seconds you want it to be up on the screen. So for this, I have it set for five seconds. And that way it moves pretty quickly. But if you want stuff to be there for a little bit longer, then just go ahead and increase the amount of time between e or for each image to be shown. So for this one, if you want it to be a little bit longer, you can set it for 10. And then it's going to basically start it from the beginning so that way you can see how long that's going to take. And if it seems like that's too long, then you can go and bring it down. Like I feel like 10 seconds is too long. So you can try seven, maybe seven is a sweet spot. But for the example, I'm just going to leave it at five. You can also have it be a random playback. So you can have it be a different order every time, whatever you want it to be. And that's if you just don't, as if you don't care of like the overall layout for each one of the images. One thing I will say though about the images is make sure they are the same size. So if you are doing some type of asset rotator or you're wanting to have some type of slideshow, if you have one that's like super long and stretchy like how I have for the first one, and then you're gonna have the other one be kind of small and boxy, then it can kind of cover certain things on your screen that you don't wanna be covered. Like if you're playing a game and you just wanna show like your merchandise or something, then you're going to want to kind of have everything built in like Photoshop, have everything created in the same uh, size and everything like that. I mean, you can even build it all in Canva too. Canva's free. Um, that way you can have everything be the same exact size for everything, for all your photos. That's really important. Uh, but once you have all your photos and everything, you're comfortable with this. If you want to add in some animations, you can. So for the one I did, I had it where it was bouncing to the right as it was coming in. And then I had it bouncing out down. And you can set the second duration for that as well. And then, you know, once you um, once you have that however you want it, then you'll be all good. So I had to change mine to the left. So that way it's coming in and then it goes down like this. And it gives a good little duration for each one. That way it's not like overpowering each other. You're not getting this weird like overlap or anything like that. And then... If you're wanting to change its size and everything like that, you're gonna to go to position, size, and style where you can change the width and height. So if you know that all your photos are a certain width and height, you can go in here and make sure it is fine tuned to however you want. And then once you have that, then what we're gonna do is go into the actual encoder, but we're gonna click on save. We're gonna click on the little link chain 
And then we're going to go to here, so the browser source. As you can see, it's already up there. So we're going to start a brand new one. Click on plus under sources, browser source, give it a name. And we're going to copy and paste with the control V as in Victor. And then we're going to go ahead and change the width and height if we need to. So if we click on OK, we'll see how it looks. And as you can see, nothing's showing up. There it is. Taking a little while. But we can always increase the size of the box if we want to, reposition it, all that fun jazz. You can always customize it all the time in here. And then uh, once you have that customized, however like size you want it, so like if you wanted to make this a little bit bigger, you can do that too. You can go over here and save. Go back to here, and we'll wait for it to show up for us. There it is. Bam. Nice and big. And you can always make it smaller if you need to. So there's a lot of customization with it. Go ahead and mess around with it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And if you're new to the channel and you're liking stuff like this, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Click the bell icon. Make sure you also take a look at all the other content on the channel as I cover a lot of technical side of streaming stuff to help you guys. And I appreciate you watching the video, and I'll see you all 